Hi everyone, my name is Roshan Guru and in this tutorial we will learn how we can manage multiple Twitter account from one browser simultaneously. So right now you can see that whenever you try to open a Twitter account you will see uh, uh, this account uh, logged in by default if you have uh, logged into your browser. So let's say you want to open a different uh, Twitter account uh, in the next tab and you want to access another account so by default Twitter will not allow you to do that even uh, the Chrome browser will not allow you to simultaneously access two different uh, Twitter account from uh, from one browser so what you need to do is you need to click on add an existing account and you can you can add uh, a different account you can and you, you can switch uh, between uh, those account but so let's say you want to access both account uh, right in your browser tab right so let's say i have a, a one account here one account uh, using in this browser so you can do that so uh, to do that uh, we created a, a Senwin extension where uh, this will help you to access uh, let's say 2, 3, 5, 10 or 15 uh, multiple uh, uh, Twitter accounts from, uh, from, from one browser simultaneously. So, uh, so to do that, you need to install our extension and you need to register to our, uh, our uh, website. We also have a free planning where you can access and create sessions uh, with limited features. So, so this is the default browser uh, you can see and let me go ahead and create a different uh, Twitter session for you. So let me click on uh, the extension. You can see that there are two options, temporary sessions and stored sessions. So we have uh, in our uh, previous videos uh, discussed in detail how what, uh, what are those. So we will create the stored session. So stored sessions will basically store the data in our server. Temporary so sessions are for a limited period of time. Okay, so once you created a session, you won't be able to access that session later. But in stored sessions, once you create a session, you can uh, access this uh, session uh, later too. Okay, so let me go ahead and click on stored session. So this is one way of doing it. You can name and you can uh, uh, add a group and you can click on add. And there is second way of doing it. Uh, I will just right click. You can see the send, send win uh, option here and you can click on open in uh, stored sessions so similarly i will just write this since this is my twitter second account i will uh, write this as twitter and i will click on start so you can see that the first uh, uh, default uh, you can see this default browser right uh, in this we have this uh, default Twitter account and the second one is uh, using a different account so if you face this option uh, issue just refresh this page and this should work you can see that uh, a different login option uh, uh, option is shown here in in this uh, isolation you can see check the isolation by by this one this uh, this icon will change when you try to access a session okay so uh, let me log in to, with different account here so okay and i will just click on uh, login and log in to different account so as you can see that i i've been using uh, again let me refresh this account again so as you can see that uh, this is my second account that i've been able to access so this is my uh, in the previous tab uh, this was my uh, different account and in my next tab i can you can see that i'm uh, able to manage a different uh, uh, different account okay so you can see that i'm able to manage two different accounts similarly you can create a third account in a new tab so similarly what i can do is i will click on right tab and click on send win and click on stored session i'll just name it twitter Twitter account three okay and this one will be Twitter and I will click on start so the third tab will uh, open a different 
uh, different Twitter account. So you can log in with another uh, another uh, Twitter account and you can access this third one. So let, let's say I have uh, closed this uh, tab, okay? And I want to um, again access those accounts. So what you need to do is you can uh, click on the extension and you, you can scroll down and you will see this Twitter option. And once you click on option, you will see this option, Twitter second and third. Since second is already logged in, I will click on Twitter second account. And you can see this will load my uh, my my account, okay? So you can see this uh, second account I'm able to access. So hope this guy, uh, hope, hope this video is really helpful.